Welcome back guys. I just wanted to uh, quickly just go through a couple of things with this new beta patch. Just to help anybody that wants to try and play the campaign. Now I will warn you, there's uh, a lot of bugs in the campaign at the moment, so if you get frustrated by bugs then you might be better off either just sticking to the main branch or if you want to play the beta version then just play custom battles. I haven't tried the Naval Academy but I'd assume Naval Academy is alright as well. Okay so I'll try I haven't ordered anything in what I want to say but I'll just try and go through a few few of the new things. So uh, politics is just basically just telling you the state of everything at the moment. There's nothing else on that. Finances, there's nothing else on here. Research, nothing else on here. Okay, ship design. Refit ship does not work. So don't even bother trying to use it. Um, if you try to refit a ship, then it won't add the components that you uh, that you try to refit it with. I can show you how to do it if you want, but don't do it. <laughs> so I'll show you how to do it. Say so this ship, for example. Um, let me just have a look, see if I've got any. Yeah, I have. Okay, so this ship, for example. You want to refit this ship, so you go on view, then you click this refit button here, this wrench, you then change whatever you want, then press save design, once you press save design, I'm not going to do it now, but once you press save design, you will get... The name of the ship, so I have no idea how to pronounce that in French, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> um, with the year that you refit it. So I tried to refit this ship in the first year of the campaign. I started with auto generated fleet, so uh, I wanted to try the refit on the auto generated fleet, see if it works. So basically, if we have a look on here, I didn't even need to do this, but um, we've got where are we? Four underwater torpedoes and uh, five-inch guns and nine-inch guns. So basically, I've tried to refit the ship, and then you go into combat with it. So I refit every single one of my armored cruisers. So technically. I shouldn't have any of the original design anymore. But, for some reason, I've still got loads of them. Um, and the ones that I changed to refit into this one, half of them haven't got torpedoes. Some have got a torpedo on the front, but not on the sides. Um, some of them haven't got um, the 5 inch guns. Uh, it's just all over the place. Some of them have not got um, it's not this one, but on the light cruiser, they've got few bulkheads. That's meant to have maximum bulkheads. None of them, all the ones I refitted, haven't got maximum bulkheads. It's just all over the shop. It's uh, it, it just doesn't work at all. So don't don't try using the refit as much as you might want to test it out. Just trust me, it doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, so then the next thing is the sea control. Um, everything's done by these squares now. So what you do is you select a fleet. I think I've actually got all of mine out. Ah, I've got a guy there, I can use him. So you select um, your ships. 
and then you tell them to go somewhere. So you choose one of these squares and then you right click on it and then you can move your ship to that square. Uh, once you've moved your ship to that square, once it reaches the destination, you get this uh, green um, radius, circumference, circle, whatever you want to call it, uh, zone of influence basically. Um, where I'd imagine that means where you are going to be encountering ships. Now I'm not 100% sure how this works because you can put multiple ships with different ranges and it seems to increase the range so it's almost as if they spread out from the center so the more ships you add the bigger the circle gets regardless of what their operational range is which is a bit weird but that seems to be how it works um, so if we click on one of these ships now I won't click on that one I'll click on a different one and um, you have down here the role that they perform. So at the moment you've got sea control, invade and protect. Now I'm on 1895 and I've had this fleet positioned here for, for the entire game five years on invade and it hasn't done anything. So I put this ship here and put it on protect to see if that did anything and that again didn't do anything so uh, it seems that invade and protect don't work now I put some ships up here on sea control and they have actually done quite a few fights on sea control so what I recommend is never use invade or protect just put all your ships on sea control not from the fleet menu like you would do in the old campaign but from this when you click on the ship just leave it on sea control so you, it's default setting is sea control so you don't actually need to do anything um, you just move it to the position and uh, it will automatically be on sea control um, yeah so basically the th one of the major bugs or there's two actually but one of the major bugs is if you try and put too many ships in one place like I have done here um, I'll show you but basically I'll have to restart the campaign again so if you try and click on it now the screen is too full and you can't scroll it it's got no scroller on it so now you're stuck you can't click off it you can't right click you can't do anything you can't tell it to retreat or regroup or anything so uh, yeah basically these are stuck until they get attacked by the enemy and then you might be able to get them to basically if they get damaged enough if the fleet gets damaged then they uh, they retreat back to a friendly port to repair so uh, there is a chance that you can get that fixed if the enemy decides to attack you um, but if you basically if you try and put ships next to each other in squares next to each other so like what I did here is I tried to put ships here and here or maybe here and here I can't remember and the first one that I put here I put on protect and then the ones that I tried to put next to it formed a bigger group they just joined together so although you select a different square um, quite often they just join into one big group so he is stuck on protect now I can't change him off protect um, and when they're on protect like invade they don't do anything. They don't seem to attack or get attacked or anything. They just sit in there doing absolutely nothing. So um, just leave everything on sea control, basically. Uh, the the other bug, which is really annoying, you can work around it, but it's really annoying. 
So basically, if you try and move a ship too close to the sea, the land, sorry. Oh, it's not too close to the land then, it's too close to an enemy port. So if you try and move too close to an enemy port, you can't move there. It just won't let you move. So when you click, click cancel, you now, it's deselected your ship. So you've now got to click on your ship again and move ship and select a different square. Now you have to cancel because it couldn't move there. So now you've got to click on there and there and then click a different square. I can't move there either. So for whatever reason you can't move into some squares that are next to enemy ports. It let me move there though which is odd. I don't see what difference there is between that one and this one. But yeah, if say for example you're moving ships from Rossith and you want to move them all the way down here for whatever reason and you click on a square that you can't move to you then have to scroll all the way over to Rossith again and then click on another square and then if it, you can't move there again you then have to scroll all the way over it and it's just really really annoying so uh, that's more just annoying than it is game breaking but this situation here this is game breaking now I have just thought that there's a possible way of fixing this it comes at a, at a cost but basically if we scrap some of the ships we can get that um, window to get smaller so unfortunately because I've got two different fleets in the Mediterranean um, I'm not going to know which ones are in that task fleet and not the other one which is a bit annoying so like I don't know if it's that one or this one because they're both Eastern Mediterranean so uh, what I want to do is scrap some of these torpedo boats see if I can get it to work so you can see the at sea here and it tells you what area they're in so then you can is it western mediterranean? I thought it was eastern mediterranean Move. oh yeah eastern mediterranean there you go ok so I can scrap some of these ships hopefully that will fix the problem let's have a look now see how many I've got no, it scrapped them from this one. So I'm on 31 there. I assume it scrapped it from that one anyway. So it's 31 and 19. one and 19 so it clearly isn't working it just looks like they're stuck there's nothing you can do about it so yeah try not to put more than I think it's 26 so if you see here I've just got enough room to uh, to move them if I want to so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So it looks like, unless you've got a different screen size to me, um, the maximum you can fit is 26. So I recommend just going to about 20 if you want to. But like I say, be careful when putting ships in squares around because they might form up into a group like what happened to me here. I was not trying to put this many ships all in one square. I was trying to trying to separate them out and surround the port, but it didn't work. So yeah, they're the two new features: the refit that doesn't work, and the task fleet that only works if you put them in seat control. So hopefully, you'll find this helpful, and you might be able to actually play the campaign. Um, if you have any other questions, um, 
just drop a comment, let me know, and I'll, uh, I'll see if I can get back to you with something. Alright, cheers for watching, guys. Take care, I'll see you soon.